Welcome to another one-on-one -on -one conversation here at OK Preps Media Day. I'm Michael Knight, joined by Ardmore lineman Braden Bryant. Braden, uh, let's talk about playing in a town like Ardmore, which, look, my my family uh, used to live in Ardmore, and my mom won't stop talking about the, the pride that Ardmore football has in that community. Uh, what's it like playing in, in a town like that where it seems like, you know, every Friday night the town closes down to go to the games? You know, it's really fun. It gives you something to work for and motivates you. Um, looking at this season as you guys, uh, you know, try to get back to, to where Ardmore is used to being, contending for, for championships, things like that, making it in the playoffs, what's something that you guys need to be different with this year compared to the last several? We just need to worry about ourselves. You know, we're, we uh, just need to stay focused and keep our eyes, tunnel vision. With uh, spring practice wrapping up, how how was uh, how were spring drills? Put, finally putting the pads on after a long off season. How were uh, spring spring drills down south? It's really good. It was a really great. You just, it's always a good day when you get to hit. Now for you as a lineman, obviously I, I got to think that you were just counting down the days, hours, minutes to to be able to put on the pads and finally hit somebody. Um, What's something you're working on personally to get yourself more prepared for this fall? Just really just conditioning and since we're kind of low on numbers, so I'll be playing both ways, but really conditioning and be able to get my strength back. Um, what is something when you look forward to, to this season, when you look at the schedule this fall, is there a game you already have circled on your calendar? Yes, sir. Week, uh, week four and five, we got MacArthur at home and then Altus at home. Those have been the big games yes, in, in Class 5A, that district. It's been, you know, the district title's kind of been going back and forth between those teams. How big is that uh, two-week stretch going to be? It's going to be very big for our season. Uh, we'll be able to decide a lot of things right there. What's it like to, to have that lineup early on? Because, look, those are the first two weeks of district play, and, you know, you don't want to look ahead, but the district champ might be coming out of that. It's, uh, it's very big. But and we realize that, but we're uh, hitting head on. Let's talk about your uh, recruitment as far as uh, what are you starting to hear from when it comes to schools? It's a busy time of the year. Uh, give us just give us an overall update. I've heard from uh, East Central, and then I've heard from Oklahoma State, OU, Tulsa, and just uh, I've got my first offer last week from Air Force. So I'm just really blessed and just taking it all in. What was that moment like for you to, to go from a guy that uh, is waiting on that first offer to finally getting it? You know, it was a surreal moment. I've Some I've worked for my whole life, and it finally happened. It was just, I don't know, I cried, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, man. It's an opportunity to, to get an education first off and, and continue a dream of playing football. All right, uh, last question for you. Are you a superstitious guy at all? You have any pregame rituals? Any crazy things you have to do before a game on Friday night? No, I just I like to listen to the same songs. Other than that, I don't really have a I like to drink a lot of. I carry a gallon, gallon of water around. But other than that, is it? What's in the headphones? Just uh, it depends. It varies. All right. Yes, sir. Nothing wrong with some variety. Okay. Nothing wrong with that at all. All right. For Braden, I'm Michael, and this has been another one-on-one -on -one conversation here at OK Preps Media Day.